There is evidence, including from Chinese scientists, that the coronavirus began in a Chinese lab. The Chinese government certainly lied about its spread, then engaged in sketchy trade practices that destroyed millions of American manufacturing jobs. Fentanyl floods in from China. Hundreds of thousands of Americans have died from that. So China has caused havoc. Are they benefiting from it? That's the question for Bill Haggerty. He's running for Senate in Tennessee. He's in the middle of a tough primary. This segment has nothing to do with that. We've asked to talk to Mr. Haggerty because of his knowledge of Asia. He serves as the US, served as the U.S. ambassador to Japan, and we're happy to have him on. So, Mr. Haggerty, thanks so much for coming on. So the concern would be that after all the, thi all the problems we've dealt with thanks to China, they are yeah. taking advantage of our weakness to increase their advantage. Do you think that's happening? Absolutely, Tucker. I know that that's the case. That's one of the key reasons that President Trump has endorsed me for the United States Senate. He knows that he needs an ally that understands and has seen China up close and personal. I've dealt with them. We've got to deal with China strictly and, and toughly. The, the fentanyl question is one that baffles me. So hundreds of thousands yeah. of Americans have died from ODs, far more than have died from COVID-19. That's chemicals yeah. coming from China primarily. Nobody ever says that. Why? We should be saying it. President Trump negotiated in Buenos Aires to stop this with the Chinese premier. They haven't. Again, we need to stand up strong to deal with this. They're killing Americans. They're sending the material over to Mexico. It's coming across a very porous border. We've got to stand with President Trump to seal that border, to secure it, to stop the lawlessness and end this drug trade. Does it seem like tensions between the U.S. and China are escalating to a new level? There are signs, consulates yes. closing, et cetera, that they are. It, are they? Indeed, indeed, Tucker. And as U.S. Ambassador to Japan, I've seen it up close. They've advanced on us militarily. The minute we step back in the South China Sea, they advance their forces. That's why President Trump has sent two aircraft carrier groups out that direction. We've got to stand up to them militarily. Diplomatically, you've seen what they've done. They overtook the World Health Organization. I applaud President Trump for taking us out of that group. And economically, they've been a predator for years. We've seen presidents, both Democrat and Republican, look the other way as they continue to mount their aggression. They've taken our jobs, they've destroyed our economy with this pandemic, and they've killed over 150,000 Americans. They need to be held to account, and I look forward to serving to help do that. Bill Haggerty, appreciate it. Thanks for coming on tonight, former U.S. Ambassador to Japan. Thank you so much, Tucker. Great to be with thank, you. Thank you very much.